Hello, <laughs> good afternoon, and uh, oh, well, whatever time of day it is when you're watching this video, but uh, right now it's the afternoon, it's Saturday afternoon, 19th of October. Welcome again to uh, to Pete's Plastic Playground. Um, here we are again at, uh, at the workbench, a uh, very enjoyable Saturday afternoon in October. Uh, the footy's been on, the mighty Reading FC beat Preston North End 1-0 with a goal in the last, uh, I think it was the last 10 seconds of the game. So anyway, football's been on, happy days. So um, I'm on the bench, I'm, I'm actually building something at the moment. Um, uh, I mentioned in uh, the video before last that um, I'd, uh, I'd seen in Airfix Model World an article about a Revel Hudson and uh, it was in Coastal Command Colours and um, I felt inspired to take my old Airfix Lockheed Hudson out of my, out of my stash and um, due to popular demand by one person who was kind enough to comment, a guy called Al, um, I've decided to build it. Um, so this is as far as I've got. I've, um, I've painted the inside of the, uh, the fuselages and uh, painted the the pilot and the rest of the crew done a little bit of painted detail for for the um, instrument panel there I, what I did is I actually cut out the piece of paper on the instruction books and used that as a rough guide and then did my interpretation of how the dials would be might be set out I've masked up all the glazing and stuck it on on the inside and done the uh, done the sort of dorsal turret which is is quite big it's quite a big um big size turret actually compared to the size of the fuselage so um that's progress so far uh, there's another crew member down there in the front of the uh front of the fuselage i don't know if you can see him or not but he's there he's got a, he's got a nice dining table in front of him um i guess he's uh navigator come bomb aimer and uh so there we are that's that's him there um i've done the uh i'll just pull that off i had to stick the fuselage back together because it split when i was putting the glazing in but a little bit of filler to go in there tiny tiny bit but again painted the inside of the fuselage and stuck the glazing in with uh with masking tape on actually i decided funny enough i decided to i i stuck the masking tape on when the glazing was on the sprues i just found it easier to do that and then just trimmed round with a, a sharp scalpel blade, and then uh, and then stuck it stuck it all in from there. So um, that seemed to have gone well so far. Uh, what else have I done? Uh, I'm I think I said once before my ugh, my Achilles heel is canopy glazing. So anyway, I've taken a bit of time. Hopefully this one will come out okay. But um, this is the. Uh, the point where there's uh, there's always plenty of gnashing of teeth from me with uh, cockpit canopy glazing so uh, we'll go with that I use the um, the box art as a guide for the frame um, so uh, we'll see how it comes out uh, what else have I done I've just put a very rough coat of black on the tires um, and I painted the um, the dorsal gunner so I just put him in a brown leather. Oh, can't see it. Brown leather jacket with a a yellow May West uh, life jacket on, and um, given the guns a, a a quick coat of paint anyway, just to uh, just to get them going. So yeah, I'm building building an airfix kit. One of the things that um, really, really, really filled my heart with joy, and I do hope that you'll be able to see this if I hold it up to the camera. Look at that, Airfix Products 1963. How about that? So we're talking, what, uh, 56 years ago, the tool for this kit was uh, was first created. So it's it's pretty good. I'm looking forward to the finished object, to be quite honest. I'm not, uh, I say I'm not a purist or a rivet counter by any means. I just enjoy it for what it is. And... Um, yeah, so to think it's almost it's just, <laughs> just two years younger than me, this um, this tool for this model. So it's, uh, oops, sorry, that was the chair. <laughs> it wasn't me, squeaky chair. Um, 
so yeah old Hudson kit loads and loads of um, bits left to do but I am thoroughly enjoying putting it together so far take my time over it and uh, hopefully we'll get a nice result so that's it Lockheed Hudson underway um, the only other thing to tell you since last we spoke is that I managed to get hold of this and this is a um, an old airfix kit I love the uh, I love the picture on the front of HMS Tiger because it seems to be set during Navy days at Portsmouth which I suppose would have been in about the 60s late 60s early 70s maybe for this one um, I think the picture is superb the setting is superb and uh, inside this kit there are two ships as you can see HMS Tiger and HMS Daring HMS Tiger being I think one of the um, first to have a, a dedicated helicopter platform um, so it could operate a, I think it would have been a Wessex in those days I'm not sure if there is a Wessex with the uh, with the kit or not but um, anyway new kit both ships are are bagged there's HMS Daring I'm not going to undo this one I'm afraid today because um, it is a bit old and delicate so I'm gonna look after it you know what ships are like they've got so many teeny weeny little parts that are easy to lose or break but i shall look inside this is hms tiger yes it looks as if there is a helicopter oh no no maybe not that's an aerial mast i thought it was a rotor blade perhaps have a look in the in the uh, in the destructions for hms tiger uh, 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 uh. Uh, no, that was an aerial mast. Look, just there, easily mistaken for a rotor blade, as you can probably, probably uh, agree. Plenty of lifeboats and launches, um, but no, it doesn't look as if there is a helicopter with it. So not to worry. Probably nick one from HMS Fearless or something like that, or um, perhaps get another one somewhere else if I if I decide to. But uh, as I say, I dare say this. Um, this will be on the shirt on the uh, in the stash for a while there's hms tiger not really much to show you but um again for its age i mean the, the the kit itself has been really well looked after it's in um it's obviously been stored very carefully by the person that owned it before me i got this on ebay by the way for 24 quid and um the chap who sold it to me sent it nice and quickly and uh all in all it was uh, a very very good uh, good buy so i think i needn't ramble on too much longer um just to let you know that uh, there's a bit of progress with the hudson and um i'll keep you posted as i go the um opportunity now to say thank you to all of those that have commented and uh i'm very proud to say i've nearly got 200 subscribers which is excellent and uh i'll uh, i'll be on the, on the computer tonight responding to all the comments and uh such and such in due course so um from pete's plastic playground all best wishes to you all i hope everything's okay and i'll speak to you next time all the best cheers